Here is the rocker panel clamped in place on the sill. I've got it lined up flush at the top and I'm going to put several spots along the top and then I'm going to stop, hang the door and see how the fit is beneath the door in this groove. This is a very prominent thing. You can see it very prominently with the door and I have found that I've got enough flex in here that I can actually push down. I had found in my previous fitting that this was a little high. Uh, of course you have some flexibility on the, on the hinges. They move up and down a little bit. So I'm going to weld the top, then I'm going to hang the door and check the fit and do a final clamping down here. I've got those clamped on the bottom just so it's in the approximate correct position while I'm welding. Well I've just finished welding the rocker onto the inner sill and this is the result before grinding off the heads of the welds. Some of them, like first couple over here, came out really nice. And it's very hard to get consistency all the way across it. It took me quite a while to weld this, at least an hour and a half. I take your time, make sure that you cool it between weld spots. You can see on the back side that I've got very good penetration and uh, if I step on it you'll see that it's very solid. So we'll clean it up. Tomorrow we'll do the bottom part. Okay so here is the rocker panel welded into place on the car with a row of plug welds along the top. And when I did this I had already pre-fit the rocker panel to the um, underside of the inner sill plate and also uh, lined it up with the um, uh, gap in the rear fender and the front fender and also I had hung the door on there and uh, looked at the gap underneath uh, where the door meets the rocker panel. I can show you that since I've welded it and cleaned up the welds I've now um, Hung the, hung the door so that we can see that gap. Now I've not welded the bottom of the rocker yet and that is because I can still move it just a little bit and adjust it. So nice to see the door is closing. So uh, here you can see the gap. I hope you can see that well enough along the bottom and it's pretty even. Now what I had to do is um, uh, just in my preliminary fitting, the gap on the right side of the door towards the front was a little bit less than the gap at the rear. So what I did, uh, it, flex, it seemed to flex a little bit more before I welded it. So after it was welded and I hung the door to check it again, it was still a little narrower on the front. So I got my wife Carol to stand on the rocker. I undid the clamps, had her stand on the front of the rocker that moved it down about another sixteenth of an inch and uh, gave me a little bit better alignment. Of course you can you still can uh, affect this gap by uh, changing um, how the screws, you know, uh, where the hinges are located on the doorpost because you loosen the screws and they can move up or down. So even with that I needed a little bit of downward movement on the rocker in the front. That's why I only welded the top first. So the next step will be to weld the bottom.